Hello there, Weedy Wat here. Welcome back to um, another episode at Dreisenhof. Now, you're probably wondering what happened in the last episode, especially with that mystery telephone call. Well, here's a story for you. I guess you're wondering why I'm standing next to a sign that says for sale. So, well, prepare yourself for a story of blood-chilling terror. <laughs> no, not really. Basically, my great uncle Gareth Field from the States uh, called me up and said um, he's retired, he's feeling a bit poorly and he's taking some time off but he has a farm over at New Woodshire and it has nobody to look after it. I mean apparently it's starting to sort of break down and sounds a little bit worse for wear and he asked if I wanted to take over and after a bit of soul searching through autumn, I decided that I would. So there we go. We are going to be moving to New Woodshire in America. <laughs> How cool is that? Literally being given a farm for free. Apparently there's nothing there, like in terms of equipment or animals or anything like that. So we're starting from scratch. But we don't have to pay for any, well, apart from all the equipment. But yeah, we can just turn up. How cool is that? That's absolutely amazing. Like, I've never been to the States before. I've never even met my great uncle Gareth, you know. So it'd be nice to actually meet him, if if it's possible anyway. But yeah, we've, um, we've signed the documents over. It's now just a case of um, tying up everything here, which is, yeah, um, scary, exciting, and everything in between. But yeah, um, farm's up for sale, which is cool. Um, yeah, we've obviously got to sell some of our equipment. We've still got some wheat to sell. And at the moment, the price is amazing. So I think that's going to be one of our first jobs today. Uh, yeah, a bit nervous. Just, yeah, feeling crazy at the moment. Um, how about it then? Shall we get to work? Let's do it. Now, I don't think it's going to cost us an arm and a leg to kind of transfer our tractors and whatnot. But there might be equivalents out there of what, what we're currently using. So yeah, um, there'll probably definitely be a Ford out there, which would be cool, because I love this tractor. And yeah, um, yeah, just kind of a bit all over the place at the moment. But I guess we'll, um, we'll get, we use a torpedo, because it's faster. And yeah, let's go and um, fill up a trailer full of wheat and see how much we can sell it for. Crazy dark at the moment still, being early winter. And yeah, it's very, very cold indeed. Not like autumn, it's so, so cold. Now I believe we put the, um, the trailer over here somewhere. There we, oh, there's the trailer. Right, lights. There we go. Super bright lights. Okay, yeah. Man, this is going to be crazy. Moving to America. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to expect, to be honest. But we're hoping to get there for the um, first day of spring over there. Which will be quite nice. But yeah, good to start the year out. Get everything started properly. I mean, we kind of know, <laughs> kind of <laughs> know what we're doing at the moment. I mean, we have had a few mishaps, but yeah, I think we'll, we'll be alright. My mom, great uncle Gareth said that um, there's plenty of people that will come and work for us, you know, if we need, we need an extra hand. And yeah, there's a few farmers dotted about as well, so, you know, we'll, we'll be okay. Alright, let's fill this up. Wheat, thank you very much. Nice, 12,500 litres. Okay, where was the best place? So Agroma is currently rising at 922, but Agrib is the best at the moment. So we're best off taking it there, unless that price changes soon. So Agrilib is just up there, up north. Absolutely fine. So let's go up there and go and sell our, um, our crop, see how much we get.
Right, we are at the sell point. Let's see how much we can get for this load. Ease, does it? Nice. Right, let's dumb that off. Nice, 11,950 euros. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Right, let's see if it's changed the price at all. Um, it's still still climbing, but yeah, we'll still we'll come back with the next load here. Right, I'll see you guys in a minute. This is the last load then. I mean we've got like I think just over a thousand meters left, but it's not really travelling all this way just to drop that off. I think this will do probably quite nicely. Right. So let's drop it off. Eek. Stop. Thank you. Now let's see how much we get. Nice. We are left with 181,000 euros. That's really good. Oh, wow. We are doing quite well. And we caught it just on the demise as well. So I think we caught it at the perfect time to settle that. Right. Um, what to do now? It's quarter past two. Well, we should really head back to the farm. So I guess I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, we're nearly back at the farm. Just need to drop the trailer off. Now, as we're going to be moving soon, we are, I guess we're not going to need the chickens. So I guess we better um, give a call to the um, the animal dealer and see whether they'll take them. Because um, yeah, there's no point them sticking around. That'll do. Fine. Right. Just going to part this up. Nice. Right, we are back. Oh, best turn for lights. I want to kill the batteries. There we go. Cool. Right, bear with me one second and I will just give the animal dealers a call and see how much they'll take the chickens for. Right, just made a telephone call. Well, just finished um, dealing with the um, animal dealer actually. They um, actually really badly needed some so they whipped over straight away they gave us about 500 euros 
for all of our chickens. And yeah, they're now gone. It's so sad. But at least they'll be going off to a new home. We've still got some eggs left over. Um, I guess we better um, load them up into a trailer and get them sold. But I don't actually know where to sell them. So let's have a look. Where can we sell our eggs? So the grain mill, it looks like, is the best place to sell them. Let's have a look on the map and see where the grain mill is. Okay, so it's not too far away. Okay. Let's get into the Ford, get a trailer. Get some lights on. And yeah, let's load up the trailer. Hitched on. Now we can load up. Okay, nearly done. Now I'm, I haven't a clue what these eggs are going to be worth. It says about two to three thousand pounds per thousand liters, but if I'm honest, I have no clue as to how many leases are actually here. So it's going to be interesting to find out, I guess. Right, let's just actually get them in properly before they fall out. Now, there's no straps or anything, so you might just have to drive very carefully. Right, okay. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, looks like we're here. Now, when do we sell these? I assume here. Let's just drive on and see how much we get. Hmm. I guess we'll just jump out. Drop one here. Yep, there they go. Wow. Nice. They actually sold for a pretty penny. I was well surprised. Now, how much was that in total? Uh, can we see that anywhere? Property income. Eggs, eggs, eggs. It doesn't actually say. That is, um... Yeah, it's definitely not a... Uh... Not helpful. So today, sold animals. Yeah, that's how much we got for the. That's how much we got for that. Harvest income seventy six thousand. How much for the eggs? Never mind. It was a good amount. A couple of thousand at least. Anyway, let's get ourselves back to the farm as it's absolutely pitch black and I can't see a thing. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we are back at the farm, and it seems like that the the instrument light panel has um. Decided not to work anymore, so I can't see a thing that's on the gauges. Never mind. As long as the main lights work, that's fine. Okay, let's get the trailer back in its spot. And then we're gonna have to start thinking about selling some equipment, because then, um, yeah, it's no longer needed. Now, I guess we could see where we could sell silage, as they're there. So, the shop, the um, places should still be open. Just need to find out where we can sell it. Huh. Well, it's not. There we go. So it's a hundred euros, and it's at the barn. A thousand liters. So who knows how much we've got there? Um. Right. Where is the 
the barn. Okay, so this is a little further away. Once we've got that done. Otherwise, it's just the yeah, space taken up on the trailer. Cool. Right. Back in a minute, guys. Right, I'm here. Literally just need to find out where the cell point is. Aha. There we go. Maybe we just need to back it up into it. Easier said than done. Especially with my <laughs> reversing skills. There they go. Wow. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Not as bad as I thought, but definitely not worth it in the long run, that's for sure. Now, it's getting re it's pitch black, absolutely pitch black here. And since it is um, early winter, you yeah, know, better get ourselves back. Just makes it so real now. The sale. Oof. Didn't miss this place. Had our ups and downs, that is for sure. Definitely. <laughs> Not ups and downs, yeah. Um, been a few, but it's been fun. It's been a big learning curve. Yeah. Wouldn't change it for the world, but a new opportunity awaits. In the old big US of A. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be something. I can definitely assure you that. Right, let's get this in. Okay. Now just pop this up. Right, night's off. Okay, thank you so much for everyone that's tuned in today. It's, yeah, it's been absolutely crazy what, um, what's what been going on, what is about to happen as well. I mean, next time you'll see us in the transition stage of heading to America. So, yeah, I guess it's the, um, one of the last times to say goodbye to Dreisenhoff. But anyway, thank you very much. If you did enjoy this, make sure you subscribe, give us a like. And, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.